done is should we care that much about what is real? Uh, I care about it a, a whole lot. Um, <laughs> and I can understand people who would rather not, but that's, I think everybody is, has their own thing. My, I mean, my, maybe my fictional universe is actually kind of a nice place to be. Yeah, it, it could be very comforting. I, I you know, I, I'm an admitted geek, and so that's maybe that's why I'm interested in it. But I think that reality, the, the the position on reality is maybe seen by a concrete example. If you if you look at your face in the mirror, all you see is skin, hair, and eyes. But you know firsthand that what you can't see, your love of music, your hopes, your fears, your aspirations, all of your conscious experiences, that huge, rich world. That's, that's the real you, you can't see that. It's hidden behind this simple interface symbol that we call a face. When I see your face and you smile, I can infer that in that rich conscious realm, you're possibly happy. Um, but that happiness as an experience does not resemble a smile. There's just no resemblance. Smiles and happiness are two utterly different things. When I look at my cat, I, my interface gives me less information about the conscious. I know if it doesn't like this cat food or not, if I've petted it too much. I, I believe that there really is a consciousness I'm interacting with, and all I can see is this furry, cute face. Whereas and, my dog is, is pretty transparent. pretty though. transparent. <laughs> That's right, right, right. That's right. That's right. And we get down to a rat, it, it's even worse, and with, uh, an ant. Uh, now my interface has given me very little insight, but for all I know, the, the consciousness I'm interacting with there is very, very rich, but in some, at some sense, my interface has to give up. I have a finite number of resources in my interface. This is an infinite realm of consciousness out there, so I have to do things like simplify. And so I simplify, simplify, and then I get simplify things to the point where I see nothing conscious there at all, and then I say that's the fundamental reality. So we, what we do is we mistake the limits of our in interface for an insight into the fundament fundamental nature of reality. That's a fundamental mistake we mistake. So, so the idea is that the reality is our conscious experiences. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you see the interface and the consciousness behind. I'm saying that it's true everywhere. Every physical symbol is there's a consciousness behind. It's not that your face is conscious, right? Your face is your face. The consciousness is just being pointed to by that face. 